Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is the man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we've got gameplay on the brand new 96 overall Roger Saffold. Powered up to 97, chemmed up to 99. So let's go ahead and let's check him out here at left guard. This th There is a little bit of bad news here. This guy would have had to have gotten our LTD or something like that, a higher overall card for us to go ahead and maintain a 99 overall across the board at O-line. With him not getting a very high overall card, unfortunately, this does mean we're not going to be able to get a right guard that's a 99 by the end of the year. Um, it's really tough, but, you know, it is what it is. I'll show you for example here. So, obviously, if you guys consider Steve Hutchinson as a 99, you can. But I don't really because he's a pop, you know, he's, he's only chemmed up to 97 year. So like I'm saying, uh, both Steve Hutchinson and Roger Saffold are 95 at right guard. The reason I have Hutchinson at right guard is because uh, Saffold only gets chemmed up to 96 rather than Steve Hutchinson. He, he gets chemmed up to 97. Uh, so that's why I have the little change there. Uh, so this is probably going to be the lineup for the rest of the year unless somehow, some way. Mawai gets up to a 97. I don't think it's going to happen because uh, he's probably going to get a 99 Ultimate Legend by the end of the year. If he doesn't, it's okay because we already have a 99. Uh, you know, Kevin Mawai. Um, unless, you know, Bruce Matthews is going to get an Ultimate Legend. We'll have to see what he looks like at right guard. I think that he is going to be a... The max, you know, right now he's at 93 and he's an 89 at right guard. You got to think about it like this. So... Think about if he gets a 99 at the max, a 99 Ultimate Legend, we'll say powered up. So think about 100 overall, but it's not really 100, but just think with me. 99 powered up is pretty much 100. You got to take four down, and you're still looking at a 96. It's just not possible, guys. Unless we switch it up at the end of the year, maybe just change up some chemistries, maybe get like a plus three overall boost. That's our only way possible that we get a 99 right guard. Um... Kevin Moai, like I said, he might, he might get a 99 overall Ultimate Legend. Uh, I would think he would. So think about this. So 99 powered up to 100. You're looking at, you know, a, a minus. He Right now is a 97, so you're looking at a minus 4 here as well, just like the Bruce Matthews. So still max that he can get up to is a 96. Like I said, the only way possible that we are going to be able to do this with balanced though, is there's not a way possible with balanced though. We're going to have to change up the chemistries if you know you know that's probably the one thing we're gonna have to do uh to get a full 99 overall line i think we can do it guys if we can get chemistries and stuff like that and i do expect uh kevin mawai to get a 99 overall ultimate legend and bruce matthews is bound to get a 99 whether it be a 98 powered up to 99 or 99 powered up to 99 um we'll just have to wait and see we might have to go you know power run or something like that zone run uh probably does help out the line a little bit more but Balance though helps it out a lot. But here's Roger Saffold. I've been talking too much about everything else. Here's Roger Saffold for you guys. An absolute in-game left guard. Uh, he gets up to 99 at left guard, so that's good. 99 strength, 99 awareness, 98 pass block, 94 pass block power, 96 pass block finesse, 99 run block, 98 run block power, 98 run block finesse. So, he's got also got, uh, you know, agility is pretty good there. With, uh, you know, at the left guard position, 76 agility is, is pretty good. Also, 84 excel is not bad at all with 72 speed. Uh, so, he's going to be able to get up to those uh, linebackers pretty easily. And with that 99 awareness, that also, you know, will help him out. Not just, he's not going to run right by a blocker or a designated guy he needs to block. Uh, he's going to hit that block for you with that 99 awareness. So, 63 change of direction is not, not bad either, but, you know, can't really test it out on the lineman. Uh, but still, 63 change of direction on the lineman is not bad uh, also there. So, more agile guy. Uh, and 75 jumping, too, is kind of crazy just for an offensive lineman. He's got 99 stamina as well. So, yeah. With that being said, unfortunately, the 99 overall offensive line might come to an end. I think it's already come to an end. we got to change up our chemistry or something you know, you know, I think Bruce Matthews is going to get an Ultimate Legend. I think Kevin Wise is going to get an Ultimate Legend. So if we can maybe change up some chemistries here and there at the end of the year, maybe, just maybe, we do end up getting an All-99 line. Now, for that to happen, Taylor Lawan, he's going to get an upgrade. Maybe that's heavyweights or something like that. Uh, you know, because... 
if he gets to 96, he's going to get up to 99. Um, and then also, uh, what's his name? Right tackle, Jack Conklin. He's got to get a power-up for us. I think that's going to happen too. Uh, so hopefully we get a power-up, uh, and hopefully we get a Lawan upgrade. And when those two things happen, you know, our line is going to be elite. Probably the best O-line in the game. So that being said, let's go ahead and check out what Roger Saffold can do on the field. Again, I have post up on him, uh, so let's see how that works out for him. All right, guys, hopping into this one. There's our top three, Dak Prescott, Sam Mills, and Desmond King. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, so you guys saw his team. We should be able to easily run the ball on him. We did just pick it off, so, you know, hopefully um, good things ahead of us, I would assume, with this lineup here. So let's see what we can do here, as you guys see. Pretty solid blocking there from Roger Saffold, but again, it's an all-bronze team, so we better be all good blocking. All right, next play. We're going to go stretch to the left here. I'm going to try and run it left, you know, most of the game. You know, be pretty cool. Uh, I know I know that once Luan gets his upgrade, we're going to be absolutely amazing on this left side of the line. As we break out with Derrick Henry, we get a block, and Derrick Henry has a touchdown. So, touchdown, Titans! Let's get it. Also, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. This is why you have Vince Young a backup for this reason right here. For me to just trip over my own line. Yeah, that's exactly why. All right, guys. We just picked it off again. Started flickering, so I think he's out of there. I think he just turned his Xbox off. Maybe not. Uh, but I'm just going to stay recording here and see. I did. I had pretty much a pick six there. I just ran it all the way back to the 50 or so. To the 48. So got 52 yards to work with. Just going to run it to the right here. See what we can do. Derrick Henry, stiff arm. Oh, my gosh. This is just... All right, let's see if we can just get one little truck animation. All right, we're in the end zone. Touchdown time. I might go for a record here. If this dude doesn't quit, I want to see how many yards I can get with Derrick Henry. Like, I, I, I'm seriously, if I get a pick, I'm running all the way back to the one. And let's see how many yards. Let's make this a little bit fun. Let's see how many yards Derrick Henry can get. And again, he's going to be looking for that holder blast. And I'm going to run it anyway, because why not? I'm going to have a little bit of fun here. And all right, there we go. So 14-0. If he stays in the game... I'm going to see how many yards I can get with Derrick Henry. Unfortunately, it does not look like it's going to be the case here. I was going to try and get like a 1,000 yards with Derrick Henry in one game, but I don't think that's going to be the case here as he pauses his game and waiting to see if he quits, and he does. So I guess we'll go ahead and hop into another one. All right, I decided not to go ahead and hop into another one. We're going to have plenty of gameplays here in the future. Obviously, we got Ultimate Legends coming tomorrow, so hopefully we can, they can sneak in and tighten uh, for us there. I don't think it's going to be a quarterback because we just got Brett Favre last week. Maybe an LTD quarterback. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Tonight, the reveal. Normally, they do it at uh, 7 Eastern time, 8 Eastern time. Uh, you know, I think they go 7, 7.38. Like, they reveal both the set legends and they reveal the uh, LTD. So, who knows? We might get some campus heroes in there. Uh, you know, because they got all those power-ups there. So, like we got a couple weeks ago, I think we got Herschel Walker. Um, for the LTD, so maybe you look out for like a campus hero uh, of some sorts there. I think they're going to still be 98 because we've only had a couple weeks of 98 overall Ultimate Legends. So I think about uh, maybe two, three weeks, maybe even four weeks is when we'll go ahead and see 99 overall Ultimate Legends. But for the meantime, here is Roger Saffold one last time 99 strength, 99 awareness. You guys see the stats. I read them out for you earlier. Uh, so just a very good left guard uh, for anyone's theme team, pretty much in-game. Um, but I'm sure if you want to go ahead and uh, chase after that 99 overall team, this is not the guy for you. You probably want to wait for another really good left guard. Probably, you know, Steve Hutchinson's probably your best bet right now at left guard unless we had. Do we have a gold 99? I don't think we've got a gold 99 left guard just yet. So, um, And that's the bad thing, too. Bruce Matthews, if he was a left guard, he would be a much higher overall right guard. Uh, so, unfortunately, they made him a center this year. They could have made him whatever, uh, you know, they, they wanted to because Bruce Matthews um, is one of the most versatile linemen in all of football ever to play. One of the best linemen, too, uh, of all time as well. So, they could have put him at left tackle, left guard, center, right guard, right tackle. He could have played everything. Uh, but that is normally it's either left guard or center when it comes to Madden Ultimate Team. Last year is left guard. The year before that, it was center. Uh, so, it looks like they're back to center this year. But, yeah. With that being said, hopefully we get an upgrade tomorrow. Next week, Wednesday, 
will probably either be power-ups or will be flashback. That would, they will be 96 overall flashbacks next week. So, because uh, we did just finish the full rotation with the veterans this week, so that's good as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, next week's gonna be uh, unless they keep popping out content. I absolutely love this. So we do know that next Friday we're gonna get Easter again. Uh, well, not next Friday, but sometime next week. I, I expect next Friday. Uh, if they had to make me make me guess, I would guess next Friday because that's what they normally do with these two part promos. They go Friday and Friday. Uh, so I would expect them to go ahead and uh, you know have the next Easter, the part two promo of Easter next Friday. Uh, so what we got next week? Pretty slow start off the week like all, like usual. Uh, you know Sunday nothing, to, uh, when, uh, Sunday nothing, Monday nothing, Tuesday. Um, I really hope they reintroduce like power up expansion uh, or they just give uh, people power up. You know m you know maybe like do just five players, ten players, give them power ups on Tuesday and then keep the wild card Wednesday thing going. You know the theme with the veterans flashbacks heavyweights uh rising stars all that stuff keep that on wednesday maybe do power-ups on tuesday that way content early on in the week isn't so dry uh but sunday nothing monday nothing tuesday probably nothing wednesday if they do power-ups they do power-ups uh but if they don't expect 96 overall flashbacks jason mccordy 96 overall tennessee titan give it to us give it give us that flashback that's what we, we've been waiting for all year and then Thursday, we obviously got LTDs. I can go ahead and talk about some predictions I got for LTDs, too. Uh, if some of y'all stuck around, I do appreciate it. But I had to go ahead and write down the teams that still need uh, their second LTD. It's the Titans, the Cardinals, Ravens, Lions, Packers, Texans, Chiefs, Chargers, um, Rams, Patriots, uh, Saints, Eagles, Steelers, 49ers, Bucks, and the Washington football team. So that's 16 teams that still need uh, an LTD. Uh, potentially, they're all going to be 98, too. So we got uh, gold 99 when you power them up. So... I've got Kevin Byer, Devon Kennard, Orlando Brown, uh, Deron Harmon, uh, uh, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Laramie Tunsil, Travis Kelsey, Keenan Allen, Michael Brockers, Jason McCourty, uh, Marcus Davenport, Travis Fulgham, Minka Fitzpatrick, uh, Mike McGlinchey, Carlton Davis, and Matt Ioannidis. So those are just a couple names that I have, you know, come up with looking at some teams, uh, you know, and their power-ups and guys that need some upgrades. I kind of came up with that list there, but I might make that a separate video uh, going over some predictions there. But yeah, with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Until next time, I'll see y'all.